Hey friends, Tony here and welcome to another quick tutorial. This time we're making Twisted Fringe. This is the perfect final touch for crochet projects like scarves and afghans. It's super easy to make and gives your projects great movement. Now let's get to the tutorial. What I have here is an Odyssey wrap that I made during my Make It crochet along earlier this year. I've already started adding some of the fringe. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. So the first thing that you wanna do is make your strands just like I did over here. So I'm gonna grab the yarn that I'm planning to add into my fringe. And I like to make my strands with a nice hard back book. It should be about the length when you measure both sides of the fringe that you want to have. My fringe is gonna be about 14 inches, so I have about a seven inch book here. I'm gonna grab my yarn, gonna hold it under my thumb like so, and just start wrapping it fairly loosely around my book. I don't wanna wrap it too tight because that's gonna impact the length of my fringe, but I'll just wrap it as many times as I can. All right, this feels like plenty for now. I'm gonna grab some nice sharp scissors here, cut this length of yarn, get my yarn kind of out of my way, and then holding onto my book, and the reason we use a hardback book is I'm gonna actually slip my scissors right underneath these strands of yarn and cut them all at once. That's why it's important to have very sharp scissors too, so you'll get nice clean strands. So I'm gonna put these with my other cream colored strands and then we can start placing our fringe. To start placing my fringe, I'm gonna grab the strands in the number that I want. This is gonna be six strand fringe. So I'm doing four cream, one gray, and one purple. Just gonna even them up here in my hand. They don't have to be perfect, but you want them somewhat even so you have good even length fringe. Now I'm going to take a crochet hook, find the place in my scarf where I want to place my fringe, and insert just like this. Pull it through, so I'm inserting from back to front through my scarf, pulling the yarn through, and that's how when I pull through the loop, my loop is going to be here on top. And you can notice that all of my fringe is in the same place. All of the loops are here on the top of the work. Now comes the fun part in actually twisting the fringe. Now, if you're doing multicolored fringe like me, you may want to make sure that you have an even number of strands in your two strands. So we're doing two stranded fringe. So I have four cream, one gray, and one purple over here. Four cream, one gray, and one purple over here. Now I'm going to hold my strands in my hand. And I'm going to, while keeping them relatively flat, just transfer hands. I'm keeping my strands flat and transferring hands. They'll naturally twist on their own. Make sure you keep your hands pretty close underneath the actual twist. I'm actually gonna put a plant here to hold down my scarf to give me some leverage. So hold flat and transfer. Hold flat and transfer. Do that as many times as you want to, or just as many times as you can. I want my fringe to be pretty tight, so I'm twisting as many times as possible. Now I've gotten down to the point where it's getting a little tricky to hold it in my hand. So now I'm going to look for my longest piece of fringe down here. And it looks like it's this cream one, and that's what I'm going to create my knot with. So you don't have to make any separate knots. I'm gonna hold the base of that with my finger here. Then I'm gonna go underneath and just bring that strand around. Then I wanna bring that strand through this loop that I've created by holding onto this strand here. If you can't get it with your fingers like I can, I'm just gonna go in with a crochet hook and pull that length of yarn straight through the loop. Tighten it way down, it's gonna create a natural knot. And then when you let go, here's the magic, your twist is going to naturally relax. And as you can see, I've got good even fringe with all of the rest of my fringe here. I'm gonna do this again. So I'm gonna grab four strands of cream, a strand of gray, and a strand of purple. Holding these together, even them up as best as I can, just like that. Grabbing my crochet hook, going into the next space on my project. I think we'll pop it right here. Going from the back side to the front side and pulling the yarn through, pull the ends through the loop, and then tighten down. 
going to separate my yarn, four in this hand, four cream in that hand, a gray and a purple, four cream in that hand, a gray and a purple. And then just keeping my strands relatively flat, transferring from hand to hand, keeping my fingers close underneath the twist in the fringe. If you bring your hands down here, you're going to have a much looser fringe. So you want to keep your hands nice and close underneath the twist. Twist as many times as you can. Here now towards the bottom, going to find my longest piece that's left over here, holding at the base of that piece to create a loop, going underneath my friend, my twist, pulling through, pop it through that loop, and pull it tight. Let it loose, and it's going to naturally relax. The last thing I want to do once I'm done placing all of my fringe is I'm going to take my steamer and put a little bit of steam on this fringe. It's gonna help the twist relax even a little bit more. And then all these little bits that are facing different directions will become relaxed as well. And the last thing I'll do is take my scissors and just cut to make sure this whole bottom fringe is nice and even. And that my friends is how you make twisted fringe. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.